Take your Google document and turn it into a fill in the blank worksheet in less than a minute. Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now today's video is all about saving time. And how are we going to save time? Well, we're going to save time by using an add-on that can turn any Google doc into a worksheet that has a word bank and fill in the blanks. So let's just get started by installing that add-on first. Now there will be a link in the description below where you can find the add-on, but you can also manually search for the add-on Close It. Now Close It is very easy to install. Simply click on install. If you're part of a school domain, you'll have to ask your admin to install it for you. And then once you've got access to it, it will live inside Google Docs. Now you can find it inside Google Docs by opening any document and at the top you'll have an add-on and then close it. Now, how does it work? Well, close it will take any document. You can see here, I have a document about tigers. This is from the National Geographic's kids website. I've simply taken that, copied it over, and then I've also cited my source at the bottom, but I wanna turn this into a little worksheet. I would like to replace some of these words, for example, this here with lines. And then at the bottom of my document, I want a word bank. Our students will choose those words and fill in the blanks. Now manually, this will take a lot of time, but we can automate it. So let's just do that right now. You're going to have to choose the words that you want omitted from your text. You're either going to highlight them with a color or underline them using the formatting. So we can either select underlining or we can also choose to highlight our words. So here we can highlight it using any color. Now I've already done this. So here I've got a copy of this document where I've underlined and highlighted a number of different words. Now you can highlight multiple words in a string and then run the add-on. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to open up the add-on menu, select close it and click on start. This opens up the add-on menu on the right-hand side, and now we have two options. We can either replace the words with a line and then have a word bank at the bottom, or we can replace them with a line and a hint and then have that word bank at the bottom. So I'll show you both. We're going to take all the underlined words, so make sure that you are selecting underlined, and then we're going to select the first option. So let's go ahead and click on that. It automatically goes through the document and replaces all the underlined words with lines, giving me a word bank at the bottom. Now for the highlighted words, I'm going to give them hints. So I'm going to select the second option. So let's go to highlight it and select the second option. I'm going to click on create a worksheet. Highlighted words are replaced. And as you can see, these still have that initial sound there. So you can see we have the initial letter. This is a hint for our students and at the bottom, they can find that word bank. This way you can have some words with hints and some without. The only difference there is that you are underlining some, highlighting others, and then running the add-on twice. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I would love to hear in the comment section below how you are going to use this. And then once you've done that, scroll back up and click on the suggested video you see on your screen right now.